Welcome to a new video. Today I'm going to talk about uh, obtaining a hex file for the Intellec 4 simulation. Uh, I've previously showed you the uh, very basic uh, Intellec 4 simulation based on an uh, Intel uh, 4004 CPU uh, with a very short program, 4-bit uh, and uh, routine, allowing you to connect uh, to uh, external uh, devices with four switches each. Uh, the routine will periodically read uh, the state of these switches, uh, will perform an AND operation between them, and will uh, send the result uh, to another uh, output device that uh, contains four uh, LEDs. Uh, so let's take a quick look again at uh, this routine, uh, at this simulation. I have it here. I will uh, quickly start uh, the Java system simulator uh, with this simulation starts with a very big uh, intellect front panel. I will make it smaller. Uh, and it also uh, created uh, windows for the uh, switches and the LEDs. So we have here A uh, switches, B switches and C LEDs. So now if I press here and here uh, we see uh, it actually computes the AND function and shows the result here. Uh, okay, we already looked at this simulation previously. I will close it now. And let's take another look at the JSON file for the simulation. Uh, so, uh, the interesting part for today is here we have a simulated uh, ROM and uh, this ROM is uh, loaded with an hex file. Uh, again, we previously saw uh, what's in a hex file, uh, how to correct errors associated with the hex file. Uh, this is the 4 bit end hex file. Uh, also, we can uh, take a look with the hex file viewer. Okay, and we see it uh, shown here. Uh, it actually uh, contains only two records. The first record is a data record. The second record is another data record, and uh, the third record is an endophile uh, record. Uh, you see here uh, we have an address, uh, we have the actual data content, you can scroll, uh, we have the checksum, and everything looks uh, good. So, the question for today is uh, how to obtain uh, the hex file. So, I will uh, start by deleting the hex file, also this LST file. So, initially uh, we have only the ISM file, which is the source code. Uh, in the previous uh, video about this uh, simulation, I already saw it, uh, I already showed you that uh, the source file is taken from this uh, SIM402 uh, hardware simulator manual from uh, December 72 uh, and it looks like this but uh, in order to uh, actually execute this on the system either the real system or the simulated system uh, first the assembly file needs to be compiled so, uh, obviously, uh, we need an assembler that's transforming this uh, source code uh, to some uh, representation that can be loaded uh, in the system. And in this case, we want to transform uh, the source code uh, 
uh, into a hex file uh, and then you saw it can be uh, used directly in the simulation or uh, in a real system you can uh, write it in an EEPROM and start the system with that EEPROM. So uh, what to use? Uh, well, I have used the A04 uh, assembler. Uh, if uh, uh, you look at the documentation, uh, you see uh, it was uh, initially created in 1988, so it's quite old initial source code by William C. Coley. Uh, then, uh, starting with 2019, it was uh, turned into A04, and uh, this was done by Herbert Johnson. Uh, I will uh, leave you a link uh, to download it. Okay, uh, so uh, I have it already downloaded here, and uh, now I will compile, uh, I will assemble, I think that's the most correct word, I will assemble the file. So again, if uh, we look here, uh, we have only the uh, ISM file, uh, we no longer have the hex. So uh, uh, I have the A04, the upper folder, and it's an executable. Now we can specify several options. I will specify here minus L. Uh, this will produce a listing file. And I will name this one 4bit and dot LST. Uh, then I'll specify minus O. This stands for output. Uh, and I will name this 4bit and dot hex. And now I will give the uh, ism file for bit and dot ism and if i press enter uh, it shows here uh, some information about uh, the program and it shows no errors so now let's look at the results so it created here the lst file and the hex file uh, so again, if I open this hex file, uh, I see here uh, the content, the same as it previously was. Uh, if I open the LST file, uh, this is uh, just the listing. Uh, I can uh, see here uh, the equivalent for uh, each instruction. Uh, so, for example, uh, this one, RDR, uh, is uh, encoded as EA. So, actually, the hex content, uh, if we look at it, uh, maybe it's better with the hex file viewer since it's color. So, um, let me try to open it again. Okay. So if we look at the data record, uh, we see it starts with 280029EA. And uh, now if we look at the listing, I will actually try to make it like this. So we see here 2800, 2800 from the record. So it's the first instruction, then 29, we see 29, this is the second instruction, and so on. So uh, by looking at the LST file, uh, we can uh, actually see what's uh, here in the hex file. Um, another thing uh, we see here, uh, the address is 00. zero. Uh, the uh, hex file viewer already tells us that this is the minimum address of the first address maximum address value is 20 in hexadecimal 32 and the execution address is extracted from the end of file record and this is uh, zero which uh, you can see it here 
Uh, this uh, can be controlled uh, from the assembler, uh, from the assembler source, uh, because here I have this uh, org uh, zero h. So this is the address uh, that I want to be the start uh, of the program. So this can be changed to something else if uh, needed. Okay, so now uh, that we have uh, everything compiled, uh, we can again uh, start the simulation. And we see it here. Again, I will make this window smaller. So we have now the front panel, the switches, and everything. And we can play with it and obviously it's uh, easy to change the assembler source uh, recompile it and have it do something else so thank you for watching and see you next time bye